corporate entities. And uh, we had uh, shows on, on all of this. This material has all been stolen out of my house by my husband and his friends. I started noticing the weapons and drug military culture that's, that's running our government and, and I believe parts of the world. There is not one woman that I know of who's in this business. I believe, and, and I had the pleasure of meeting your wonderful wife last night, Pastor Strawcutter. This is a woman who's wonderful. This is a woman, this is my kind of woman. You know, and I've met a lot of women like that. Mm -hmm. We go through hurdles, um, and I don't mean to cry. They're going to have to kill me before I give in. The, I believe in good men like you. I believe even my husband's core is good. I think that's why he's away. As the, the list of the members of the CFR, all right, all these names that I've underlined are friends of my husband's, or I personally know. Um, my son, John Garland Pollard, and I hope I'm not jeopardizing my family, but, um, and I believe that there are some good people possibly in here, so I want to qualify that and say right. they're not all bad. But um, there are quite a few names here, and um, it's, it's quite a long list. I mean, we're only at the end now. <laughs> this is the... You know, Bill Clinton's on here, you've got the Rostos, you've got 11 Cohens, you know, uh, okay, where's the Z's? You've got Mary Halab's son, I'm pretty sure that's, that's Kashmir. Um, Carl Rono, you know, you've got a lot of, uh, you've got the Commandant of the Marine Corps, whom I have my picture taken with. Um, uh, it's, it's an interesting list of elite, political, military, uh, banking individuals. And, uh, and the sons of some high-level people, yeah. which is global uniting, mm -hmm. uh, global control. And, uh, and I can see how one could sort of get sucked into it uh, idealistically, thinking that um, you know it's it's uh, something that we should world peace and harmony and everything. And I mean, I, I can understand. I, I studied at the University of Edinburgh. I was uh, in. I received a grant in 19. I think it was 1978 to work on Lord Dunmore's papers. Lord Dunmore was the last royal governor. Of Virginia. I was invited by the current then Lord Dunmore, Johnny Dunmore, to work on the Dunmore Papers. No one but John Sel Selby has done any work on Dunmore. So I, I mean, I stayed with, um, I, I'm not going to mention too much because I don't, um, but the point is, um, I know a lot about the triangular trade, uh, the, what was going on in Bermuda. The triangular trade is the illegal uh, weapons uh, drug uh, trade that is still going on today. Mm -hmm. uh, Israel is, is basically running it uh, with the New York bankers. The one focuses on, yes, sex is wonderful. You know, it's great. I'm, I'm a you know, great proponent. But uh, there's so much of a focus by this group on sex, and the military, you know, they go back to Greek days, and they have all these symbols of, you know, the, the, the Washington Monument is supposed to be a phallic symbol, you know, and they say, well, this proves, you know, because the Greeks were doing it, the Egyptians were doing it, and it's the secret little group that was, you know, back in the days of Nefertiti and, and you know, Mark Anthony, and it just proves that we're just great because we had the Holy Roman Empire and Alexander Great that was, was homosexual and 
Patrick the Great, Catherine the Great was, you know. But it's debauchery. The, 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 old, the thing that one has to realize is that God knows best, you know. Mm -hmm. It is an abomination. It is a sin. Now, we've all sinned. We're all sinners. I, shouldn't, I don't believe we should be putting people on stakes. The simple answer is this. Just repent. Just show that you're changing your life. You know, I've sinned. Everybody's sinned. Um, I don't believe that, uh, that targeting people, uh, whether you target them this way or that, is necessarily is the answer. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm, this is just my personal opinion. I am not a, a judge. I wish I could be a much better judge than any of the, the Kabbalist male judges in Virginia Beach because they, they are doing this to women, mothers, who are honorable people who are telling truth. And uh, I would like to hear Hannah Moore tell her truth. I would like to hear Grover Wright's wife, Lynn, tell her truth. These are wives of judges in Virginia Beach. Okay. I would love to have heard Ken Whitehurst wife tell her truth she was shot okay. i wanted to believe that pat robertson was honorable and good he's a marine did you know that did you know that he went to the psychological operations school whatever that is in at yale now i'm not saying he's bad mm -hmm. um and i'm not going to judge pat robertson but uh i know that he's under was under the influence of a belgian man who is very powerful in this group. I know the one thing I can judge him on is that, uh, well, I, I, can, I will say things, and I know I'm going to be, I know they're going to get me for this, because Pat is very powerful. But if you walk into Pat Robertson's um, Williamsburg Inn, mm -hmm. the hotel there, and you're poor, <clears throat> and you are a woman or a person who's poor or an African-American who's poor, and you walk into that gift shop, you've walked into the house of the Sadducees and Pharisees. It, the dresses in there cost starting at $200. The belts, I mean, these are, these are clothes, basic commodities. Now, I'm not saying that that that's wrong, it's wrong to have money, and I, as I say, I'm not going to judge him, but from my perspective, the way my father was reared, um, it's, there's a lot of money going on there, and uh, Christ 